is time for the Grow Omaha Turner Construction Lightning Round. The lightning round is when we talk about a lot of things in a short period of time. And we thank Turner Construction for bringing this to you. Turner has been in the Omaha market for several years now and has really made a big splash. In fact, one of their projects is the Sarpy County Data Center and has just announced this week that a ninth building is underway at that uh, 4 million square foot data center campus in Sarpy County. And uh, they do smaller projects as well. And you can, uh, you know, check them out. Turner Construction, whether you know, you're looking for a contractor or you're in the trades and you want to work for a construction company that takes good care of people, uh, check out Turner Construction. We thank them for sponsoring the Lightning Round. Trenton, uh, the real estate community lost a legend this week. No question about it. And it gives me great privilege to talk about uh, my dear friend, the passing of a dear friend, uh, Frank Krejci with Century Development. Uh, Frank was one of the most unique people I ever got to know. I considered him a, a dear friend. I did a few projects with him. A lot of people in the real estate community did huge projects with him, and, and he really is a legend, and he's a pioneer. He, he leaves behind some wonderful family members, um, including the ones that, that I got to know is, is uh, Bob and, and Gail Krejci, Bob, his son, uh, Gail, his uh, son, uh, daughter-in-law, Lori Krejci and uh, Larry Smith, and uh, wonderful people, and uh, also honorary family members, Marilyn and John Ellingson. Marilyn really uh, runs that office, and Frank, you've heard about him. He's He is the one that preserved the 72nd and uh, West Dodge Road, and it's being turned into an amazing development. Um, but but Frank came from nothing, and, and for 71 years, he built an empire and changed a lot of lives. So uh, farewell, my friend. Uh, he developed West Shores. He developed Valley Shores. He developed uh, uh, the Oakview Mall area. And so it'll be interesting to see how his family carries on his legacy. And uh, I want to thank the Krejci family for everything they've done. And uh, Frank, we'll miss you. And some news for the lightning round. Grant and Emmy's Ice Cream and Burger Dogs is coming. It's going to be directly north of the new Julio's Restaurant, 192nd and Q. This will have the same ownership as Julio's, and it'll be open in about three or four weeks. And we have another crumble cookie shop coming. It'll be in the shops at Market Point, 72nd and Giles and Papillion. Maybe that will further cut down on the 168th Street lines for a crumble cookie. There you go. I noticed uh, when I went by the 156th Street one uh, last week, no line whatsoever was able to get right in. For the very first time I ever purchased anything at a crumble cookie, because I didn't ever want to wait in line. They have like 170 different flavors. Uh, but only six per day. Right. Okay. Yeah, including chocolate chip every day. Perfecto. All right. Ribbon Except cutting. Sundays they're closed. Are they really? Yeah. Okay. Ribbon cutting August 4th for the Viridian Credit Union new building 7529 Dodge. This is in front of a Lowe's home improvement store right on the big Dodge strip through there. I'm guessing that won't have the line that Crumble Cookies has. <laughs> Probably not. I get the ATM first. I mean, it's a fine Viridian Credit Union, but... Uh, I want a savings account. Unless they give away free Crumble Cookies, then they could have a heck of a line. A restaurant known as... Now, some people will misinterpret that and think, oh my God, Viridian Credit Union's get. No, they're not giving away free cookies. That was just a yeah. joke. Um, a restaurant to be known as Lux American Grill is opening in the apartments at Lux 96. So this is 96th Street, right where Cornusca Road and Portal Road meet. There's also a breakfast restaurant in there called Cafe Diem. But, uh, it's a it, Bellino development. Good people. Yeah, Lux American Grill. Can't wait to give that a try. Um, another restaurant that looks pretty cool is Talus Spirits and Sustenance. Talus Spirits and Sustenance. It's going to be 10914 Cumberland Drive. That's basically 108th and 370 area. Yeah. Menu looks good. Kind of an uh, eclectic um, American with some international influence. Yeah, it's, it's been in the it. works for a couple of years, but I've heard good things about it. All right, a couple other things. Elevated Coffee Company at 2851 Capehart Road in Bellevue is adding a craft beer tap house this fall. It'll be in the retail bay next door. According to the company's website, quote, you can expect the best local beer, wine, liquor, boozy coffee drinks, and expanded food options, end quote. 
JoJo's Diner is getting close to opening its new old market location. We reported on that a couple months ago. The new location is described as a downtown diner-style delicatessen. How cool is that? Um, it's in the former Craft Sliders and Beer location, 1213 Harney Street in the old market. The original JoJo's is in Benson. A second one opened several months ago near 132nd and West Maple. Hotworks plans to open a location soon at Shadow Lake Town Center in Papillion. The company offers hot yoga, Pilates, and other virtually instructed exercise programs. Hotworks has several existing locations around the metro area. And uh, in Ashland, uh, suburban, Ashland, you know, is kind of becoming a suburb these days, darn near, at least a bedroom community. Ashland Wine and Spirits has opened at 202 Highway 6. Wine, beer, spirits, locally and internationally sourced. You know, Trent, there's a lot of development activity in that Ashland area. Absolutely. And it's not just the home of the Air and Space Museum. And we're not going to flood it. Um, that That is just right out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh- not yet. Not yet. Well, the more they keep building, I think the less likely. Now, near Ashland, we may end up getting that Seven Mile Lake someday. But while that would be very cool, it's nothing for which I would uh, hold my breath. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.